LNG production is not moving to China. So says Fiat Chrysler chief Sergio Marcioni in an email to employees. It was the CEO's first formal response to a controversy ignited last week when Mitt Romney told a rally in Ohio that Chrysler was planning such a move. Neil Boudet joins us now to discuss the fallout from this controversial ad. Neil, good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry, Joe. Do we have Joe? We have Joe White to discuss this. Do we have yes. Joe? Hi, Joe. Can yes. you hear me? Yes. Fantastic. So, Joe, Chrysler will be making Jeeps in China, correct? What what what's the controversy specifically here? Can you describe it for us? Uh, well, look, this is a controversy that, uh, a, around. Um, a misunderstanding of how the global auto industry works, or maybe perhaps a deliberate misunderstanding. Jeep is expanding its operations in Toledo, Ohio, as well as uh, in Detroit, for the North America, mainly for the North American market. But at the same time, like everybody else in the global auto industry, they want to expand in China. And basically, the only way to do that is to have local production. So they're basically doing two things at the same time, expanding in the U.S., expanding in China. Mitt Romney is is trying in Ohio to neutralize the Obama administration's efforts to profit you know, politically from the, the President Obama's rescue of Chrysler and, and also of GM uh, in 2009. And and this ad is aimed and and Mr. Romney's statements are aimed at 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 at. at neutralizing or maybe clouding the issue of, of the auto industry rescue, which is a very complicated matter. Okay, Joe, we want, to, we want to run this ad quickly, so, so stay with us for a second. Who will do more for the auto industry? Not Barack Obama. Fact checkers confirm his attacks on Mitt Romney are false. The truth? Mitt Romney has a plan to help the auto industry. He's supported by Lee Iacocca and the Detroit News. Obama took GM and Chrysler into bankruptcy and sold Chrysler to Italians who are going to build Jeeps in China. Mitt Romney will fight for every American job. I'm Mitt Romney, and I approve this message. Joe, we also want to, the Obama campaign has hit back with its own ad, and we want to show viewers that right now. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. When the auto industry faced collapse, Mitt Romney turned his back. Even the conservative Detroit News criticized Romney for his wrongheadedness on the bailout. And now, after Romney's false claim of Jeep outsourcing to China, Chrysler itself has refuted Romney's lie. The truth? Jeep is adding jobs in Ohio. Mitt Romney on Ohio jobs? Wrong then. Let Detroit go bankrupt. Dishonest now. And this is a quote from Fiat Chrysler Group Ch uh, CEO Sergio Marcioni. Quote, Jeep assembly lines will remain in operation in the United States and will constitute the backbone of the brand. It is inaccurate to suggest anything different. So, Joe, it, it's interesting watching those two ads. On the one hand, Mitt Romney says he, he kind of attacks Mitt Barack Obama for taking the, the companies into bankruptcy. But he had said that he wanted a, a prepack bankruptcy. Correct. So it, it's kind of confusing. It, it, yes, I think I, that's right. It's, it's, it's confusing. And I think it's meant to be so. Um, uh, you know, Mr. Romney has had a, has had a problem in Ohio and Michigan uh, for some time um, with the fact that in, in 2008, before Chrysler and GM uh, went into bankruptcy, suggesting that that was the course that they ought to take. Um, now uh, he's he's using it in this ad or suggesting in this ad uh, that there is something wrong with that. Uh, this we're, we're six days from the election. Um, the Romney campaign very much wants to win in Ohio. And clearly, they believe that that uh, questioning the uh, the effectiveness of the Obama administration auto bailout and questioning whether it was really good for America or perhaps maybe it was better for China is a way is a way to go. I mean, the companies are in a very awkward situation here because, in fact, they're expanding now uh, as a result of the after this bankruptcy. Um, they uh, do not want to be part of this process, but but here they are, right in the middle of it. Joe. The importance of Ohio to Romney, if you look at the electoral map, Ohio is particularly important. If he doesn't win Ohio, the electoral math for him to get to the White House is very difficult. We actually have current polling shows that Barack Obama is still up about five points, just just outside the margin of error, 50 to 45. But and that that, that gap is closed a little bit. Do you think the gap will continue to close as a result of this ad, this confusion that, that the Romney campaign is kind of is putting out there? 
Well, you know, that's hard to say, but but I'll give the I'll give the Romney campaign enough credit to say that they must believe based on their polling and their intelligence that that's what these ads will accomplish. Um, and, you know, honestly, you know, at this point, it's it's so close in that state, as well as many others, uh, that that I think we're down to a position where perhaps we ought to have the election and see what happens uh, okay. before we before we guess. But, you know, these guys are pretty sophisticated. I don't think they'd have done this given the risk of, of the backlash that they're getting from the auto companies and from from others um, if they didn't think that it was going to have some effect with some share of the electorate in that state.